What up, YouTube? G4 Elita here. Once again, video number two for the night. And basically, this video is going to be a viewer's request. You know, somebody asked me a question, you know, and it kind of just made me want to turn it into a video. The reason it made me want to turn it into a video is because it's a situation that all of us have been in, you know. And if you haven't been in this situation, you know, consider yourself blessed. Consider yourself lucky because, like I said, it happens to everybody at least once in your lifetime, you know. And what I'm talking about is infidelity. And he basically asked me, can a relationship survive infidelity because his girlfriend cheated on him? And he, it was a one-time thing. And he don't know if he should stay with her or leave, you know. And basically, the, the question is, do he stay? Do he stay? Is once a cheater, always a cheater? Is that like the, the, the bullet to the head to your relationship if your partner or spouse cheats on you, you know? And to answer this question, it depends on a number of factors, you know? First of all, let me say, I've been cheated on by quite a few girls, you know, in my lifetime because... In my earlier years, I did not pick the best girls to be with. You know, I picked a lot of shitty girls, known shitty girls, you know. So, like I said, I've been through the situation before, you know. So, but in my situation, I didn't stay with a lot of them because a lot of these girls, did, like I said, they were train wrecks, you know. So, these girls were known cheaters. So, I have nobody to blame but myself. But if you're in a situation where, it was a one-time thing your partner cheated on you you know and obviously it was something if she felt like she was she or he was feeling like they wasn't getting something in their relationship and they had to go outside their relationship to get it I don't think you should completely just end a relationship that's it move on that quickly you know I think you should take a look at the relationship and see what and look at what your part. Ask them what 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 wasn't they getting in the relationship? Like, what if what was missing that they had to go outside of the relationship? You know, and see if you and, and have a discussion about it. And whatever it is, see if you can fix that one aspect. You know, like she say, you ain't spending enough time with her. Go make time with her. <laughs> she say you ain't affectionate enough. Go be affectionate, be a boyfriend, be a girlfriend, be there for your partner. If they asking you for something and you don't give it to them and they go outside the relationship to get it, you know, it's both parties' fault, you know, especially if they've been asking at first, you know, like I said, you should really look at your relationship and see why they did it, you know, if they not a hoe, you know, and it was an honest reason, try to fix that shit. Especially if they promise they'll never do it again. They show no signs of doing it again. And, and, and they seem happy after you fix the problem. Like I said, no reason to end the relationship. You know, a lot of people cheat. <laughs> because they feel like they aren't getting something necessary for them to be happy. You know, if you ain't happy in a situation, these things tend to happen. Well, this is more along the lines of females. You know, females cheat over that emotional shit. Us guys, we generally <laughs> cheat over just sex, you know, we because we more basic and simple like that. But females, they have all these emotional reasons, these emotional connections they need, and we have to accommodate them. To be a boyfriend, we have to accommodate them and make them feel loved and give them that affection and all that other shit they need, you know. Sometimes it do it may feel asinine, like really, like I, I understand it just feel tedious at times to give them everything they want. Cause some girls be seeming needy as hell, but you have to do that. It's a job of a boyfriend to do these things. If you don't want these things, you shouldn't be in a relationship or you should be in a friends with benefits type of deal. You know, so like I said, you have to accommodate these things and fulfill your girl's needs, you know. You gotta figure out why she had to go outside the relationship to get it. Is it something she's been asking you to change and you haven't changed, you know? You gotta look at yourself, look at her, look at the whole relationship. But a relationship definitely can survive infidelity. If if she's sorry and you're and you gotta be willing to forgive, no holding on to resentment, no half ass forgiving her saying, Okay, she did this, so I'm not gonna be this good. No, you have to open your heart and for real forgive her 
And she has to open her heart and be really apologetic and really feel bad for what she did. And once y'all both fix that problem, move forward. Don't focus on that shit. Don't focus on that shit. But keep in mind, this advice is for a girl that ain't a slut hoe bitch skank. <laughs> a girl that just ain't fucking on dudes. And that's just because that's just how she is. I'm talking about the girls that actually had a, a reason. I wouldn't say a valid reason because there's no good reason to cheat. But she had her reasons that she had to. Well, not had to, but she had her reason that she did it. You know, so I hope that was helpful for you. I hope <laughs> you got the message in it. I hope she ain't a, a skank chick. But if she is, that make it easier. If she's a skank, cut her, find something new. But if she's one of them emotional type of chicks, take my advice and do the things I said and try to repair you guys' relationship. You know, it's all about repairing that shit. Forgiving and moving forward, you know. But anyways, hit me down in the comments below. Tell me about your experience. Have you ever been cheated on before? How'd you handle the situation? I would love to hear you guys' stories, your inputs. You know, I'm going to try to get back to all you guys that do hit me down in the comments below. So, yeah, G4 Leader here, signing off. Thank you guys for watching.